Okay, hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel again and uh, this video was uh, completely unintentional uh, because um, I would like to fly just for fun from Anchorage to the Horse uh, this is the destination in Alaska uh, my friends from America know where it is and um, it was just a little bit test flight, uh, how a real world uh, weather conditions uh, looks like and uh, uh, what is the improvement on uh, last beta version of X-Plane 12. Uh, but anyway, I found something uh, what is very interesting and maybe it will be interesting for, uh, for you as well uh, because uh, in this case, uh, we'll be a little bit much talking about a uh, uh, few facts. Uh, if you are flying to destination, uh, which is uh, very cold, and uh, uh, there is a contaminated runaway, uh, you have to accommodate to this situation um, you know, with the common sense, okay? Uh, somebody uh, would like to do uh, the preparation with electronic flight bag and put the uh, for example uh, let's say auto brake on one and two or three on max or whatever uh, as we are flying to this destination and uh, uh, the weather currently uh, it's uh, around zero so that means that we do not um, take into the con into the con consideration uh, the uh, the cold temperature uh, additional for initial approach fix intermediate fix final fix steps down set the step down fix and the final approach uh, final approach fix and decision altitude or whatever or minimum decision altitude uh, it really doesn't matter so far and uh, so we will skip this procedure but what I found uh, interesting in uh, this case uh, in Europe uh, there is something uh, what is uh, not common but it's uh, really common in the United States in the United States it's very common the Becker's ILSs and uh, something if you look at the chart uh, this is so called the procedure turn uh, the basic of the procedure turn and how to make the procedure turn is depicted on ICAO document ok volume 1866 but anyway uh, the other states and other civil aviation, aviation authorities uh, make uh, a or let's say uh, they have some differences okay but anyway uh, we are flying to uh, the doors that means that uh, it is the top of the Alaska okay and uh, what is the procedure turn the procedure turn is basically that you are flying into the radio navigation 8 which is served of the airport and please check the note thumbs if it is valid okay so if the radio navigation 8 is uh, unserviceable you are no longer uh, able to fly this procedure turn and uh, from this navigation 8 uh, you are making the outbound leg uh, with for example uh, we have uh, 238 course VOR and outbound leg is 158 that means that we are going to turn uh, 180 degrees and making back uh, to the um, navigation 8 or let's say to commence the approach okay uh, in some cases uh, but I cannot see it uh, right here now uh, with initial approach fix Initial approach fix means that uh, there is the primary and secondary uh, areas of um, obstacle clearance and um, in this case 
uh, when you're flying for example uh, from the north or, mm, or let's say from the mm, better solution will be for explanation you're flying from the uh, from the east you have to join the holding pattern and in holding pattern uh, you can uh, then then make a procedure okay and uh, about the VOR I don't see the minimum holding altitude okay and I don't know why it should be the minimum holding altitude but it's it is based uh, from Okota initial approach fix so there uh, no longer worried for this VOR okay uh, it does uh, we'll skip this procedure and we'll go from the link and to initial approach fix Okota the ICAO stands uh, that uh, on initial approach fix your uh, let's say uh, indicated airspeed uh, should be uh, 240 knots or less okay uh, and the procedure turn uh, means that you are flying outbound leg uh, within one or three minutes uh, depends on the procedure and then you are reverting uh, to the 45 degrees of bank angle uh, to the left side or to the right side uh, then you can bake back okay uh, as you can see here uh, 193 so it's 180 and we'll capture the the Willig VOR in the in the course uh, 238 and th this outbound leg of uh, what is right depicted uh, here it should be for category C uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds sometimes this outbound leg uh, should be determined by the uh, nautical miles but so far uh, we have some uh, additional thing uh, what's basically I found in America uh, it's 15 nautical miles from Okota uh, so how we can prepare uh, to this procedure okay so first of all uh, okay we are cruising at some level we have some turbulence but basically there is nothing uh, wrong with it and if we put in the plan mode now you can see that we, we are flying uh, to Sierra Charlie Charlie VR we do not know we do not need uh, to do the procedure uh, which is uh, related to the parallel or let's say direct entry a teardrop entry or offset entry um, and uh, we can fly to the Okota point okay and from Okota point uh, if I scroll it a little bit like this one uh, you can see uh, we have the procedure turn and now we are on the point uh, okay uh, I am willing to choose the Zebo uh, with this or I am willing to choose the PMDG because the PMDG database in Navigraph it's completely different uh, from the Zebo and both of them Zebo and uh, and uh, and the PMDG are completely different from the real life but anyway uh, as you are professional uh, we have to accommodate to this situation so uh, let's go down and scroll and as you can see on Sierra Charlie Charlie VR we have 300 knots in the real airplanes uh, if you have 300 knots uh, you will see the overlap uh, no matter if it is fly by point you will see the overlap so first of all uh, we need to put there a reasonable speed in order to start our final uh, let's say um, final segment from initial approach fix to intermediate fix and to the final approach fix okay so in this case uh, I will put 240 
like here and leave it like now okay and now uh, we have 50 miles from Okota we do not overshoot it so put the Okota into the fixed page like here and put the 50 nautical miles okay and now you can see that uh, we overlap this situation so uh, this is unacceptable for IFR flying okay because it is clearly and very clearly depicted 15 nautical miles from Okota what we have here 15 nautical miles and you can see the overlap Uh, maybe sometimes uh, it will be helpful that uh, you put, uh, for example, from procedure turn or, or let's say to Okota uh, to have, uh, for example, 170. I know it's too late, okay, and uh, it's too far from the airport, okay. Uh, we can see what happens. Basically, nothing happens, okay. Uh, so in this case uh, we will need to accommodate our situation and uh, let's take uh, for example uh, try to solve the situation uh, uh, with a for example 10,000 feet okay over this waypoint nothing happens okay so in this case uh, we need what we need to do uh, we have to fly it ourselves okay and we'll see later on uh, as we will fill uh, all the pages uh, what this uh, procedure like to be uh, because uh, if you fill the gross weight and um, and let's say flap settings and everything uh, put in uh, it may be a um, little bit uh, better okay but as you are professional pilots uh, take into the consideration that you have to uh, you shouldn't have to overshoot this radial okay in the flight simulator uh, basically nothing changes but in real life uh, if you are uh, making a light training flight uh, you will not pass the light training flight okay now uh, how we prepare for the dead horse well uh, we are on VR Zulu uh, runway 24 that means that first of all we put the final approach course which is 238 Now we have 238. Uh, now we can put the navigation setting uh, which is 113.9er. Uh, once again, if you put VOR here, uh, please put VOR on the AFIS panel as well in order to depict uh, it on the uh, on the navigation display uh, to know the DM in distance okay this is crucial and now we have short runway and contaminated runway in this case I will go for auto break 3 and uh, make sure that on this kit is you know it's operative and the speed brakes is operated as well because uh, in otherwise uh, we have the treble okay uh, the next point is uh, okay we are going to burn uh, I can see it uh, 1400 kilograms uh, that means 63 64 60 uh, 
63.4 no 62.4 uh, 62.4 okay and now uh, what will be your flap setting okay again use common sense you have strong headwind component and imagine your flaps 40 your airplane will have the pretty much lift okay in this case uh, it will be unstable on the approach so I will definitely even if the if the short runway is I will go, go for flaps 30 right now and we have 20 degrees uh, of the headwind component that means that half past of the headwind it's 10 knots so we'll put the additional 10 knots that means that 155 will be our approach speed while on the landing so far uh, we have MCP set we have auto brake set uh, we have now setting set AFIS panel as well and uh, now we have to fill uh, the forecast page okay uh, in this case uh, I will check it uh, right now we'll and give me a moment okay so we have QNH uh, 2 niner uh, decimal 37 uh, this is crucial for uh, non-precision approaches uh, because you don't have the physical um, physical glide slope uh, that means that you don't have the ILS or micro micro valve uh, and as well in other approaches anyway okay so we can go back to the charts and we can scroll down uh, into the Uh, into the descent page and as you can see we have a 20535 so slash 35 like this one okay 19317 and 10610 now we can put the 200 flight level 150 and 10,000 feet okay I'm oh, sorry 15,000 feet because we are in America and transition altitude is the same as the um, as the uh, other so this is filled and from the decent forecast page uh, we have to pre-select 2937, okay? Two nine three seven. we have pre-selected and what we need to do right now uh, what is the our minimums? Uh, this is quite a challenge uh, because this is clearly stated uh, only authorized operators may use VNOW decision altitude in, in lieu of MDA so that means uh, that uh, you have to uh, prepare your paperwork and uh, you have to make all the documentations for, a, for a transport aviation authorities uh, to prove that uh, you are high of the ob obstacles and everything is okay and you can go with the V now uh, so far I don't know uh, what is the procedure 
because I don't have the access uh, to this procedure that means that our MDA will go via step down fix okay so to VLIX uh, 940 that means 1000 and we have to go to 500 which is MDA okay in this case uh, In this case, uh, MDA it's uh, four thousand eighty. Okay. And now we are prepared for the landing. And uh, if you have the in real life the airplane which have a cars uh, you can check the weather uh, each 30 minutes for example uh, if you are uh, if you don't have the a cars or a sat cometina or a cpdoc or whatever i don't care about it uh, we have to wait uh, for the ATZ information so at least 200 uh, 200 nautical miles away well uh, we are now uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, we are well prepared because we have finally approached Corsis which is uh, 238 23238 we have VOR 113 decimal liner we have uh, minimums we have set, uh, flap setting we have set, auto brake we have set, uh, there's press recall, there is no malfunction, we have FMC set, and as you can see right now, we are overshooting uh, this radial of 16 of 15 nautical miles uh, from Okota so once again 15 and that's it so that means that what we, what we are uh, what we are expecting from this approach we are expecting from this approach uh, I am highly I will high, highly recommend it uh, to go down uh, much more and uh, slow down earlier and start the turn earlier because if you leave the airplane uh, with the L now he will overshoot the maximum as you can see 15 nautical miles uh, within 10 nautical miles at least uh, it's unacceptable uh, regarding to the basic IFR procedure so once again Okota we have 240 10 nautical miles in this case I will use uh, the level change I will go down uh, with the uh, below the Vina path and then uh, we can let's say uh, start to accommodate our potential energy and kinetic energy so that means that uh, we will make something uh, with in order to slow the disrelation of the of the airplane and as well uh, to lose the altitude okay and start our turning before uh, the Elna procedure that's why we are outbound on the Elna as yes, we can you can use it and when we are deviating um, with the procedure turn into 45 degrees uh, we'll start a little bit sooner okay so
uh, that's it and uh, I will skip the video into the part when you are starting uh, all of this all of this procedure so uh, now we are approaching the Sierra, Sierra Charlie Charlie uh, VR and uh, it's uh, it's quite heavy turbulence and we have minus 60 degrees of centigrade that means that uh, engine anti-IS uh, must be on okay as you can see what the airplane is doing uh, in this situation I'll put the flight into the flight and uh, I will reduce the speed to turbulent and penetration airspeed, ok? And we will see how we will deviate from the ICAO procedures because the ICAO procedures told to us that is from 1 to 3 minutes and uh, here is uh, here is clear, clearly depicted that it is uh, 15 Okay, so we can see uh, we are approaching flight level 100, so lights coming on, and um, and from initial approach fix, uh, which is Okota, uh, we can go down, uh, as you can see, to 1,600 feet. Okay. Uh, for those of you who would like to know how to establish the altitudes, always check your operational flight plan and within operational flight plan uh, always check uh, your minimum off-road altitude and right now minimum sector altitude uh, which is 2200 but uh, we are far above uh, so don't worry. As you can see, it's heavy turbulence, so cabin crew be seated, uh, engine to flights, fast and bolts on, and speed to eight zero indicated. Okay, and we can go down. I will leave it. Uh, for the for the time being, uh, minimum, minimum sector altitude is 1,600. Uh, I will leave it like oh, let's say uh, 6,000 feet, just for time being. Okay. So we can reward it. Uh, we can put the vertical speed. Uh, it's not applicable right now. Uh, because we have altitude acquired and altitude holds, and so that means uh, we'll scroll down the speed a little bit and start the decelerating uh, up to 240. And now, uh, as we are not longer in heavy turbulence, uh, and but we have the rainy conditions and plus 200 so we need to keep the engine anti um on and start which is in continuous Sometimes it's uh, the flight is not as uh, we expected, so um, it uh, let's say uh, when you are tab rating on Boeing 737, or let's say you are tab rating on uh, Air 20 and you are using Airnow um, procedures, uh, that doesn't mean that. Uh, 
you are not allowed to use the, the conventional uh, navigation procedure and this is this case you should always know about this fact Uh, sometimes it's uh, clearly depicted uh, that overhead uh, this uh, radar navigation aid uh, we should have a certain minimum holding altitude uh, but it's not on the chart so um, I'm I'm just right now uh, considering uh, that uh, from minimum sector altitude which is from based on the airport reference point up to 20, 25 nautical miles and it is 1600 feet basically it's no problem it's okay and now we can see that it's quite okay it's quite fine uh, again, it differs from flight simulator to flight simulator. That means that uh, uh, I don't know why uh, the Navigraph database is different from Navigraph database uh, in Explain and it's Microsoft Flight Simulator. But anyway, uh, we have to some somehow accommodate to this situation. And if you are not good in math, as I am, there is uh, basically no problem. We start the chrono time, okay? I put uh, 500 in order to keep uh, some descent. As you can see, we are approaching the the Vina path, uh, which is right now uh, okay because the temperature is minus one uh, so that means that uh, we do not need to apply the, the the temperature correction error uh, but we still overlap this uh, this situation in this case uh, I will start uh, the turn a little bit a uh, little bit sooner okay If you feel uncomfortable with the speed, uh, just put flaps 1 like this and keep it speed in 200. Yeah, you burn much more fuel, uh, but you have the much more margin uh, into your stall speed. Okay, so make it a heading select and if you're not good in math, uh, make it parallel with this one, okay? And once you have started the turn, as you can see we have two minutes passed so okay clear it and make it once again and it should be one minute and 15 seconds according to ICAO uh, we will see how it is handled with the situation if it is okay if it is not okay but I think it won't be so so perfect as I expected in this case I will um, put the speed a little bit down and make it uh, fl with the flaps 2 and speed 1 and 0 but as I can see uh, we, 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 can, we can do it uh, with higher speed uh, without any further problems because we are reaching the 1 minute and we have to have uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds uh, but this is crucial uh, what you have to do okay and another point is uh, if, we, if you don't have the calculator on you, you 
uh, you are uh, let's say uh, mm, let's say uh, not good in the mathematical uh, side of you uh, we can make it okay we have overshoot 1015 uh, 1 minute and 15 seconds so uh, we can make it right like now but first of all do not overshoot it like here because otherwise the airplane will turn another direction so uh, we are starting our turn as you can see we are very close to 15 nautical miles so our decision was okay without any problems and as you can see the line okay we adjust it with the parallel and do not do any math computations just make it parallel and if it is okay and to the Okota we have 1600 the 1600 is right over there I will put it like this uh, in order to see something as well here I just okay that's fine we are on the parallel we can arm the localizer mode because uh, we are below the 90 degrees Dome lights have no effects. The flaps too uh, in Boeing 737 uh, it's not usual and uh, when you are using flaps too on Boeing 737 uh, just call please uh, non-standard flaps too in order to have um, for example better glide and speed uh, with the glide slope as well so uh, you can use it you can use the flaps too uh, but it's not standard okay uh, in this case the flight crews are accommodated with the situation uh, with the call out non-standard uh, set of flaps too and now here's Okota point okay and I will delete the Okota point and I will put Sierra Charlie Charlie VOR and 10 nautical miles uh, in order to know where to decelerate the airplane but uh, anyway the pilot monitoring should have we have right now tailwind of 6 knots and crosswind of 9 knots which I am not happy with it And as you can see, we are approaching with green banana the Okota point. Uh, in order to be stabilized, put flaps 5 and release it. As you can see, the trend vector, put flaps 10 if you're uncomfortable and to have the better margin for the stall speed. Uh, but anyway, in this kind of situation, uh, it's not a shame be uh, lower uh, or it's not a shame to make it go around so from Okata to Vulik is uh, 1000 feet and remember when the Okata uh, it's uh, 
Initial approach fix when we are making outbound and we are making inbound its final approach fix and it's 4.2. So in this case, gear down, flips 15. Everything is okay, we can put engine on TS off. Speed brakes arm, cabin crew advised. And now again it's raining. So we need to put the engine anti-air zone uh, because uh, we have two degrees of centigrade. Um, in order not to play so far with the engine on TS, I will keep it on. We can pre-select the 1000 uh, because uh, Woolick point it's 940 feet to be conservative 1000 okay we can go down if you don't know how to use the vertical speed and what is your vertical speed uh, just uh, check your ground speed 158 158 approximately 800 okay in order to be uh, with the glide and now we put the flap 30 and as we said before we have 150 150 and we can make uh, to our MDA which is 500 feet Okay, vertical speed again. And now we can pre-select it. Uh, missed approach. It's 2000. We have runway inside. We can put the flight directors off. Like this one. This is like the speed. And uh, we can make it like this way. I can't see nothing basically. A little bit bumpy. Okay, uh, we have. Uh, We have 20 knots of headwind component, so plus 10 degrees, it's okay. 150. Okay, so my reverse beam is not working anymore but basically we are okay so how to break these are manual breaking right now uh, we can close the park parking brake and uh, now what is important uh, right now uh, just to check the chart and uh, what is depicted uh, we can make it via alpha without any further problems so that's okay so non-standard start the APU Okay, stop the flight time. And now, uh, when it's zero degrees, and you can see that the taxiways are wet, uh, leave the engine on the on, okay? The 
let's perfect and stop trim as well but it's not working anymore so it's okay I'll leave it like this AP available 8p on bus uh, we put the lights like we shoot in real life okay and now you can see uh, what is important in real life uh, comparing to the comparing to the flight simulator okay so in our case uh, in flight simulator you can fly the L now uh, what is depicted uh, on the FMC but in real life uh, you should check the chart and you do not have to overshoot the 15 nautical miles DME I don't know where is the stand here in the doors uh, maybe we have the better chart no we don't have So we can go where? Uh, oh, where here? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't see the line. I have the clue in Alaska there are uh, only one or two stands on these airports so it should be the stand uh, like somewhere over here I guess so Okay, so what we have, to, uh, where we have the the stand, it should be somewhere over here. Okay, it doesn't matter um, in this situation because I don't have the scenery uh, for explain, and um, maybe it will be uh, this one. I can see the yellow line over here, so. I'll put this right here uh, as we are coming to the stand we put the taxi lights off not to shine the ground personnel in this case and um, yeah maybe Okay, we will li leave it like this. Uh, so parking brake said we just check the temperature. It's okay. Uh, we can uh, shut down the engines because we are on the APU. Uh, stop the block time. Release the packs. Below 10%. Anti collision lights off. and uh, we can leave the APU 
like this one and shutdown procedure and checklist is completed so i hope you like the video um, if you have some comments uh, feel free to ask me uh, there's no problem so far uh, so thank you very much for watching and see you next time soon bye